Born Rachel Meghan Markle on August 4th, she embodies the spirit of a modern royal. Meghan's journey from her California roots to the hollow halls of Buckingham Palace is a testament of her resilience and grace. Today, we celebrate her life as a daughter, actress, wife, mother, friend, entrepreneur. Megan's story is about embracing change and challenging the status quo. She has navigated the complexities of both Hollywood and royalty with remarkable poise. Through it all, she has remained true to herself, using her platform to advocate for causes close to her heart. Megan's story begins in the sunny landscape of Los Angeles. Born in 1981 to Doria Raglan and Thomas Markle Sr., she experienced a diverse upbringing. Her parents separated when she was six years old. Raised by her mother, Doria, Megan's early life was filled with love and support. Her mother, a social worker and yoga instructor, instilled in her a strong sense of empathy and social justice. Megan's education was a blend of public and private schools. She attended the Hollywood Schoolhouse from ages 2 to 11 and graduated from the Immaculate Heart High and Middle School, where she excelled. She was already an activist by the age of 11. Welcome, American TV and film actress and UN Women's Advocate for Political Participation and Leadership, Megan Markle. I want to tell you a story that will sort of give context to my being here and my work with UN Women. When I was just 11 years old, I unknowingly and somehow accidentally became a female advocate. It was around the same time as the Beijing conference, so a little over 20 years ago, where in my hometown of Los Angeles, a pivotal moment reshaped my notion of what is possible. It's the first time little Meghan Markle was on TV, and she was a firecracker even at age 11. I don't think it's right for kids to grow up thinking these things, that just mom does everything. For a social studies assignment way back in elementary school in Los Angeles, Meghan and four social classmates were asked to watch some commercials and assess their messages. Recommended by more doctors, pharmacists, and Dr. Mom. It's always mom does this and mom does that. In particular, a commercial for ivory dishwashing liquid caught her attention because it used the word women. Women are fighting greasy pots and pans. And I said, wait a minute, how could somebody say that? Even back then, Megan struck everyone with her easy charm and intelligence. Just about one out of every three commercials is going to say something, going to hurt somebody's feelings. So Megan took pen in hand and wrote a letter to Procter & Gamble and to that penmanship. So I was wondering if you would be able to change your commercial to people all over America. Here's the shocker. The company actually changed the commercial to say people, not women. A month later, when the soap manufacturer, Procter & Gamble, changed the commercial for their ivory clear dishwashing liquid. <laughs> they changed it from women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans to people all over America. I don't even remember what I was doing at age 11. And certainly it wasn't that kind of activism. By the age of 13, she was working about 10 hours a week at Humphreys. This future royal understood the value of work and has never been afraid to get her hands dirty. She attended Northwestern University in Illinois, where she completed a double major in theater and international relations. She interned at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, as a junior press officer. She also studied in Madrid, Spain in 2002. 
After her graduation in 2003, she returned to Los Angeles with the ambition to break in to the entertainment industry. So, eso me dice de que la princesa habla español. Marco Bejolén de Suits y les invito a que vean la serie desde el 4 de julio por Space. And I was right. It's always great to be right. Her double major in theater and international relations showed her diverse interest and intellectual curiosity. This foundation would serve her well both on screen and on the world stage. Megan's foray into the world of entertainment was marked by both dedication and talent. She owned her craft through auditions and smaller roles, demonstrating a strong work ethic and a passion for storytelling. A poem. In a world of shadows, she shines. In a world of mediocrity and tales falsely spun, where leaders will power yet inspire none, amidst the darkness, a beacon so bright, stands the Duchess of Sussex, a guiding light. Her journey begun under skies filled with strife, a path paved with trials in the public eye's light. With grace and with courage, she faced each new day. In a realm of deceit, she carved her own way. False storytellers weave webs thin and weak. Their words aim to harm and their intentions so bleak. But Megan, with strength defies every storm. Her truth and her light keep her spirit warm. She champions the causes that many forsake. In her heart burns a fire that nothing can break. From gender equality to mental health plea, she fights for the change that the world needs to see. In halls of power where shadows might loom, she enters with dignity, dispelling the gloom. Her voice is a clarion, so strong and so clear, a call for compassion for those far and near. In a world of falsehoods where virtues are few, she stands as a testament, proud and true. Her legacy grows in the hearts that she touched. A symbol of hope, a love that means much. So here is to the Duchess on her special day. May her light shine ever, guiding the way. In a world needing heroes, she stands with pride. A beacon of justice with love as her guide. Happy birthday, Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Your light is a blessing, for in this world of shadows, your brilliance does show a beacon of hope where the truest winds blow. May God bless you, protect you, and continue to illuminate you. Happy birthday. <laughs>